emergency. How can I help you? Ambulance, please, and fire at the gate, please. The immediate reaction is wow, because they don't expect to see real cars or real traffic lights or little houses inside this building. Now the person who was wearing this, he's thrown off his bike towards the tree trunk. Now he's wearing his helmet, supposing he wasn't wearing it. When you ride a bike, you have to tie shoelaces and wear bright clothes and not listen to music. I love when when um, the towers have to cross the road and be safe on the road. It gives the children a very realistic experience um, and allows them to, you know, become aware of the dangers, possible dangers, without actually being in danger. They won't think of it as um, a lesson. They'll, they'll just think that they had a treat. But make sure you're still looking around for other cars. Teachers spend a lot of time uh, looking for and arranging resources, but if there's one that's already there for you with really well-trained staff, why not do it? Everything we do has got consequences for other people. It's an absolutely brilliantly safe environment for the children to learn about real hazards and it's an opportunity we can't simulate anywhere else. And I have to be honest, a couple of my children have really surprised me how much they've taken in already. The guides that are bringing the children around are absolutely brilliant and the way they interact with the children, they really make the children want to learn. Now what I want you to do is look in this scene and put your hand up if you can see anything dangerous about this scene here. It's okay doing things on computers in a virtual world, but this is reality for them and they recognise everyday life as they go around this centre and it's something that they do remember forever. We've had children here who came right from our start 15 years ago and they remember all the messages. What does it say? Weed killer. Weed killer. Do you think that's poisonous? Yes. yes. It is a lot of fun. Children always go away from here thinking, wow, this was the best trip I've ever been on. If you couldn't get out that door, get to the window. Now I know what to do, like if there's a fire or like someone drowning in a lake and all that stuff. So I've really enjoyed the tour. Yeah, and it's a good idea about the roads now because of the, um, and the train track and like how fast they go, so you know, and never to go on. We've learned how to cross the road safely and we've and learned that how when to there's a fire in your house you need to walk out and um, stay out if, and then yeah. if someone else is in the house shout to them you're getting um, help. Quick, 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 over on the bench. They can see physically and hear and smell um, the scenario so that it really makes it real for them and that's what they remember. And my officers and staff will tell me that they will talk to young people who have ye years ago been to the safety centre that still remember those scenarios. We need something about um, crossing roads and what not to do. If your mother's not there, you don't go to strangers that you don't know. Well, I like the, where we had to call on the phone. Emergency, how can I help you? Please, may we have a lifeguard? There's a girl falling into a lake. Okay, so if you come back to the lake, so don't go in the water yourself, and tell them that the fire brigade is on its way, okay? Okay. You're helping out the children learn dangers of the outside world, I and mean, it's the essential life skills that they need to get out and about, from road safety to railways to things like just in the normal home. Because it's a hands-on type experience, they remember it. And obviously, if they can remember anything at all, it's all a plus. I think it's hopefully going to make them uh, realise uh, the safety issues are involved in normal, every li everyday life. Some people say, uh, can we go around again? After we've done two hours. <laughs> We did actually have an email once where a parent um, told us that their child had been babysat by grandma who had had um, an attack, you know, had, had collapsed and their son had put her into the recovery position and dialed 999. If we can save one child's life, how do you put a value on that?
because I came here to the safety center. I feel much more safer. I like it so much that I might come here tomorrow.